Hey guys, NTVMB here, and if you haven't read the title yet, today I will be installing Android x86 on a USB flash drive. For those who don't know, Android x86 is basically Android ported to PC. Android x86 is not an emulator. It is full Android that you can use as your main operating system if you really wanted to. For those wondering, I the flash drive I'm using is a 128GB Samsung Fit flash drive. So, without further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, I have data stored on the flash drive, so I've split it into two 64GB partitions. First things first, I'll need another flash drive to use as an installation medium. So, here's a 64, here's a 16 gigabyte flash drive. It's damaged, but it works for all my operating system needs. Okay, so first we need to prep the installation medium. I have an Android x86 disk image containing Android Pi, so we'll use that image. Now we need to run Rufus to make the installation medium. So. Partition scheme, GPT, volume label, leave it at the default, file system, yeah, yeah let's go FAT32. Write in ISO image mode. Okay. And now, let's wait a bit. Okay, we're finished. So now that the uh, files are finished copying, let's reboot the, to the Android x86 installer. I have duplicate entries on the boot menu. Installation. Please select a partition to install Android x86. Android x86 is already installed in here from a, a previous attempt. I tried to record this. Reformat to ext4. And it didn't take that long. <laughs> Install EFI Grub 2. Yes. Mm, no, I do not want to install the system directory as read write. Expect tonight. Uh, <laughs> expect to write uh, 931 megabytes.
Okay, the installation didn't take that long. Reboot. And remove the installation medium. Oh, it booted to Windows. Probably, probably because of the boot priority. Android x86. And there we go. Android is starting up. And now the fans are whirring loudly. Alright, we're in the setup wizard. And... The trackpad isn't working. Oh, oh, uh... Can we... I can't power off because the trackpad isn't working. I have to plug in an external mouse. Okay, slight change of plans here. Uh, since I can't find the mouse because I'm stupid, uh, I can. I'm gonna try and navigate the entire setup wizard with just the keyboard. As you can see, I've got it connected to Wi-Fi. And the fan is really loud. Don't copy. I don't want to sign into a Google account right now, so we'll just skip this. Not now. Let's use the quick step launcher. Okay. I have no idea what I'm... Oh, okay, you can use the win key as the home button, that saves time. I have no idea what I'm... I have no idea what I'm highlighting, so... Oh, this Google Assistant.
Shut up! <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, Google Assistant is pretty janky on Android x86. Probably because I pressed the win key. I have no idea where I'm navigating, so I'll just shut, shut it down. Okay, that's about it for Android x86 on a USB flash drive. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Aw, uh, damn it, I screwed up Windows. On second thought, maybe that was my fault.